Some of you may wonder about damage and what combinations to use to get the most damage out there. And for the bow, which is what we're gonna talk about today, hence the title of the video, it's two specific combos that speedrunners use on and on again to get their kills as fast as possible. And the combos are as following. Number one, circle, circle, B on Xbox, R2, R1 on Xbox, and circle again. And, or, two, circle, R2, circle, R2, circle. These are the combinations they use mostly to get out as many arrows with as high of a damage output per arrow as possible. But which one of the combos is the best one? To be honest, it really depends on quite a few things. But if you want a short answer, combo number one is your go-to. But if you want to know why and the more technical answer, let's get into it. To start off, we'll have to determine the damage of each arrow, both non-critical damage and critical damage in both combos. Starting with combo number one, which again is circle, circle, R2, circle. And starting off with circle, you have three arrows doing 20 damage non-crit and 28 damage as a critical hit per arrow. Adding up to 60 all non-crit and 84 all crit. Second shot, which also is circle, coming with three arrows once again, 33 damage non-crit and 46 damage crit. Adding up to 99 damage all non-crit and 138 damage all crit. Now for the third shot, which is R2, also 3 arrows with 38 damage non-crit and 53 damage crit. It adds up to 114 all non-crit and 159 damage all crit. And then we have the fourth shot, circle, with six arrows, assuming you have bow charge plus, with 42 damage non-crit and 59 damage crit. Adding up to an astonishing 252 damage all non-crit and 354 damage all crit. Adding all of this together and you got yourself a whopping 15 arrows adding up to a 525 damage all non-crit to a 735 all crit combo. All of this in the 4.2 seconds it takes for you to press circle to start the combo to you stopping and getting ready to do the same combo over again. Now, for the second combo, circle, R2, circle, R2, circle, Again, three arrows first shot with the same damage, 20 damage non-crit and 28 damage crit. In other words, 60 damage non-crit and 84 damage all crit. Second shot, and since this is a second charge with R2, you only get two arrows at 33 damage non-crit and 46 both crit, adding up to 66 and 92. Now we have the third shot again, which is circle with three arrows doing 41 non-crit and 58 damage crit per arrow, adding up to 123 non-crit and 174 all crit. And then we go for the fourth shot at three arrows doing 42 non-crit and 59 damage crit, adding up to 126 to 177 damage. Now for the fifth shot doing the same damage again, 42 non-crit and 59 all crit, but as this is a spread shot at charge four, you get six arrows, this time adding up to the same as the first combo, 252 damage to 354. From start to finish, this takes 5.08 seconds to get through, and all of this together now is a 627 damage non-crit to a 881 damage all crit combo. And as you can see, doing one combo, the second combo does the most damage. But we're not doing only one combo to kill a monster now, are we? But we're also not going to stand on the monster as if it was the training ground log. Just standing there all tall, strong and sexy like. So again, this depends on many things. However, let's see how much damage this does over time. And to make it even, let's do this combo all the way until both synchronizes back to the start. And as we already know, one is faster, but one hits harder. On the left we have the circle, circle, R2, circle, which is the faster combo. And on the right we have the circle, R2, circle, R2, circle, which obviously is the harder hitting one. And you're probably also worried about power coatings, and yes, the left will spend more coatings in a quicker period, which is why many speedrunners go by the right hand combo to preserve the coatings they have. But then again, if we're going with the close range coating, which means you don't have to worry about that at all, the left hand combo would be beneficial just right out of the pocket. Now, as you 
you can see, the left side has now gone through the combo 10 times, which means we have to multiply the numbers 525 and 735 with 10 to get how much damage we've gotten throughout those 10 rotations. And it adds up to 5250 damage non-crit to 7350 damage all crit. Where the right hand side managed to go through the combos 8 times in the period the left hand side went through it 10, we have to multiply 8 with the previous numbers 627 and 881, becoming 5016 damage non-crit to 7048 all crit. So as you see, over time, if you're able to get off 40 seconds of combos into a monster non-stop, you probably want to go with the left one. But again, coatings! We worry about coatings! Now, on the left side, this is still 10 combos, with 4 shots in each combo, meaning you've used 40 coatings, having 10 left. Where the right hand combo has been repeated 8 times with 5 shots in each combo, leaving you with 40 used coatings and 10 left. So, it's the same. Pretty much. Only that you get out those shots faster in the left one and a little bit more damage as well. I will have to say though, with a couple of R2s in the right hand side combo, you have better positioning opportunities as you're able to move a little when using the R2 shots. So you be the judge of which way you want to spend your coatings. Granted, in most cases you won't be able to wail at a monster's weak spot for 40 seconds, so how are the combos compared to each other when less time has gone by? Well, if we go all the way back to the beginning, where we got only a couple of combos off, let's say 3 rotations for the right hand side, which means that the left side already has started its own combo, but we'll cut it off as the right hand side is done with its combo nonetheless. So. What we're looking at now for the right hand side is 1881 damage non crit to a 2643 all crit. And doing the same math with the left side, we end up with 1575 damage to 2205 which is significantly less. But we gotta add on those few shots that we left out, which is charge 1, 2 and 3, added up to 273 to 381 damage. Adding that to the results and we got ourselves 1848 all non-crit to a 2586 all crit. And it still doesn't reach what the right hand side does. But wait. Only a fraction of a second later and we're all back baby. 252 non crit to 354 all crit adds up to a 2100 to 2940 damage. And back at two rotations we got this. But again, right after by a couple of seconds we've gained in on the left side what was lacking. So you go through your coatings faster, but isn't that what you're going for? However, it's not always this combo is the best, nor is the other. Sometimes, it depends on a monster and the timing when it comes to how it behaves. So, let's take Sino Jiva, for example. And this is a clip from Millen Rain on YouTube, which does incredible speedruns, by the way. Uh, just go check him slash her out. Not sure of the gender there, but... Anyways. When you have been wailing at Sino for a little while, you can start to knock her down. But that's only provided that you get a certain amount of damage in on her. And as you see here, you have to create a little bit of distance to place yourself accordingly when she falls down. If you try to use any of the combos I showed you, there's a chance that you will miss some of the shots by them not reaching or you not being able to place yourself accordingly. So what Milan does here is first dodge in making your next charge go up to 2 and releasing it with R2. As it happens here, you shoot 2 arrows. Fair enough. Next up, spread shot, circle. Now instead of moving on with the combo to another R2 and then circle again, Milan immediately resets the combo. But now it's circle, R2, R2, R2 and then circle. The reason for the bunches of R2 in there is so that Milan can place himself slash herself so that when Sino gets up and places the foot back, it's ready to get hit by the final spread shot, knocking her down again. Rinse and repeat. Now, if the rhythm breaks, then you're out of position to knock her down by the timing presented in the video. 
and that lessens the uptime of your DPS on her, meaning you do less damage than if you were to try to get any of the other combos I presented. So it may very well depend on the monster, but in basics, now you have the answer. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it, and thank you for watching, I hope you got something out of it, and if it helped out in one way or another, I'd appreciate a like, as it helps out tremendously. Now, if you want to check out some builds to use your newfound knowledge with, I'd recommend checking out some of my other videos, which I'll add as cards at the end of this video and in the description down below. However, I hope you have a great hunt, and until next time, so long.